my name is Nicole. I will be leading this beautiful tutorial video today. And we're going to start off with this circuit, which is a uh, second order circuit. The first video is going to cover how to find the initial conditions. And then we'll have another video which covers how to find the characteristic equation. So let's start. This is our circuit. And what we want to do is we want to source transform this uh, lovely current source into a voltage source. So, okay. So what we do is we're going to solve out to find what the voltage source is going to be. We know that the current is 5 amps and the resistance is 3 ohms. That means the voltage is going to be 5 times 3, which is 15 volts. So when we redraw this, going to look Oops. like this. And that is our redrawn circuit. So now we're going to start with the T less than zero circuit. And for the T less than zero circuit, the switch is in its current position as is. And so we're going to redraw this like this. And this capacitor is an open circuit because it's in steady state. So that means no current is flowing across it. So we draw it as an open circuit. And likewise, this inductor is a short circuit because it is also in steady state. So there's no voltage drop across it. And then we have the 30 volts. six ohms. And this is our circuit. So what we're solving for is the VC of zero minus and the IL of zero minus in this circuit. So to do that, we know that this node, well, we set the ground first, actually. First thing you always do. And then we know that this node voltage is 30 volts. And this is our unknown volt, volt, uh, node voltage, which is going to label V1. And label all the currents. So then we have 30 minus V1 over 3 ohms plus 0 minus V1 over 3 ohms minus V1 over 6 ohms equals 0. Because the sum of the currents going in minus the sum of the currents going out equals 0. And so solving, we want to get rid of the fractions. We multiply everything by 6 ohms. And we get 60 minus 2V1 minus 2V1 minus V1 equals 0. So we get 60 equals 5V1, and therefore V1 equals 12 volts. OK, cool. So I'll put that 12 volts there. So since this is 0 volts here, we know that Vc is 0 minus is going to be equal to 12 volts. And Il is going to be equal to um, this current through here, or the opposite of the other one. So it's going to be 12 minus 0 over 3 ohms, which is 4 amps. So that's that. So this is the t equals 0 plus circuit. So the switch has been flipped. Uh, I've combined these two resistors into one 6 ohm resistor right here for just making it easier. And then as we know from these identities up here, the voltage across the capacitor before the switch and after the switch are going to be the same because capacitors resist change in 
voltage and likewise the inductors resist change in current. So the current across the inductor is going to be the same beforehand. So over here we have the voltage across the capacitor is still 12 volts and the current across the inductor is still 4 amps. So I've labeled this node V1, so this is V1 minus 12 over here. So solving for the current across the capacitor, we have the sum of the voltages coming into the circuit minus the, into the node, minus the current coming out of the node equals zero. So I see minus V1 minus 12 minus V1 over three ohms minus four amps equals zero. And therefore, I see equals four um, minus four, which equals zero amps. So what? What? I see zero plus. You mean like in here? You want me to write zero plus in here? Oh, okay. So I guess we're starting again. <laughs> With so this is our t equals zero plus circuit. I've drawn it out. It is after the switch has been flipped to this position at t equals zero, and I've combined these two resistors to one six ohm resistor because they are in series with each other. And from these identities up here, we know that the voltage across the capacitor stays the same, and it is 12 volts, and the current across the inductor stays the same, and it's 4 amps, because uh, capacitors resist change in voltage, and inductors resist change in current. So solving for the current across the capacitor, we have the sum of the currents entering a node minus the sum of the currents leaving the node equals zero. So I see at this node right here, um, so I see minus V1 minus 12 minus V1 over three ohms minus four equals zero. And I see these cancel plus 12 over 3 minus 4 equals 0, and this comes to 4, so we have IC equals 0 amps. Um, so this current through here is 0. So now we need to solve for the voltage across the inductor, and to do that, we're going to solve for V1. And to solve for V1, we're going to do KCL at this node right here. We have 15 minus V1 over 6 ohms plus V1 minus 12 minus V1 over 3 ohms minus V1 over 6 ohms minus IC equals 0. And we know that IC is 0 because we solve for that over here. So getting rid of the fractions, we multiply everything by 6. And we have 15 minus V1 plus 2V1. Oh, wait, these cancel. So that's 24, um, minus 24 minus V1 equals 0. So we have. 9 is equal to 2v1, v1 equals 9 halves, which is 4.5 volts. And v1 minus 12 is going to be equal to vl. And so v1, vl will evaluate to 4.5 minus 12. Oh, this is a negative 9. So it's a negative 4.5 minus 12. And therefore, VL equals a negative 16.5 volts. So these are important in solving for the transient values. So DVC of T and DIL of T.
to solve for either of those, um, so we have uh, dvc of t dt equals ic of t over c. So we have that equaling to 0 over 5 farads. So that's going to be 0 volts per second. And the di L of t equals V L of t over L. So it's going to be negative 16.5 volts over 3 Henry's um, in amps per second. That's going to be approximately negative 5.5 amps per second. Okay, so now we're moving on to the T is greater than zero. Well, T is equal infinity circuit. So this is another steady state. Um, so since it's steady state again, the capacitor goes back to a short, I mean an open, and the inductor goes back to a short. Okay, and so then we're going to solve for IL and VC again. <laughs> so at this node, V1, we have 15 minus V1 over 6 plus, since this is now connected to ground, so it's going to be 0 minus V1 over 3 minus V1 over 6. And since this is now an open, there's no current going through here. So this is our KCL equation at V1. And getting rid of the fractions, we get 15 minus V1 minus 2V1 minus V1 equals 0. 15 equals 4V1. V1 equals 15 over 4, which is going to be approximately 3.75 volts. And since it's a zero across this over here, we know that this is going to be VC of infinity. So VC of infinity is going to be the 3.75 volts. And now we need to find IL. I'm going to do that over here. To find IL, we need to find this current going through here. And since the capacitor is an open, that means that the voltage flowing across this resistor is going to be the same as this IL right here. So it's just going to be V1 minus 0 over 3 ohms, which is going to be 3.75 over 3 ohms, which is going to be approximately 1.25 amps. So IL of infinity equals 1.25 amps. Thank you for watching this week's video. Um, the next video is going to be on how to solve the characteristic equation for the same circuit. So stay tuned and have a lot of circuit fun. <laughs>